I want to show you my aquaponic system here in my porch in my apartment. I've got this grow bed. <clears throat> it's the, made out of a 55-gallon drum. I've got my uh, water flowing into it through that three-quarter inch piece of uh, PVC pipe there. And then here in the back, you can see a three-inch diameter PVC pipe. And down inside that is the system that for the siphon to go back down to take the water back down into the, the bottom. I'm going to reach down in here and try and pull this lid off the, the piece here off the tube. It's kind of hard to do it. My, my hands are so fat. <laughs> Okay, there's my system. There's the drain tube and it goes all the way back down. You can see the water coming up. And I drilled some holes in this 3 inch PVC pipe down in the bottom so that it comes up. This is what I did with my, uh, I just cut some things like that so that, and I've been adjusting the, the height on the, on the lid here you know that I put on here just to try and see if I can get it to siphon all or less. The line there is where as far down as it lid can go but it seems to be doing good in either way. Um, gives me a little bit more water height than everything here in the, in the plant so you can see water levels getting up there almost where it's trying to start flowing back into the tank. wait until it starts flowing over okay started flowing over I'm going to drop this down in there on top of that stand pipe See it goes down okay you'll see here in a second that it'll get enough water and all of a sudden it'll, it'll start to siphon and it'll start draining the water out Well, it is. It already is. So I'm going to show you the bottom side down here, underneath. What I got going on there is I got my, my pond pump down in the bottom, and the water is coming back down, coming right through that barrel bung hole right there, and it's splashing in there. And so I'm thinking I'm getting good aeration. I don't have any fish in here yet because I'm just trying to. You know, make sure everything is, is working good before I do that. But you can see the barrel bung there at the top. And uh, you can see my clear plastic hose coming up from my water pump, the pond pump there, going up in the top. So that's kind of a little project that I've got going on. I've got hydrotin, and you can see there. I threw in a bunch of seeds for radishes because radishes are easy to grow and thought, you know, start out with something easy like that. But my wife has a lot of different plants and everything around here. They're really pretty. And those ones need a little bit of nitrogen. Too. Well, I got some strawberries up here and also threw in some of my, some seeds for my son. Some, uh, um, Things like, like uh, oriental vegetables for him there. But I think this is a good little project. To, I might do another couple of grow beds or something. We'll see what happens. But uh, this is just like a this is just a simple one. This is just made with a 55 gallon barrel and a little bit of supplies right there. I mean, there's nothing too difficult to, about building it. Take a piece of a inch and a quarter pipe. Take these little plugs, you know, caps that, that go on the end of it like that. And then here's a three-inch PVC, you know, like for 
drain pipe, sewer pipe or something. And I also got some of these pieces of three quarter inch plastic pipe from the irrigation section. All this stuff came from Home Depot. So that's how I kind of put all this together. And then uh, to aid in, in germination, I just took a piece of burlap cloth, just laid that in here over the top of the, the over the top of the hydroton there, you know, just so that I can, you know, I don't know, help in the germination of the seeds. I don't know if it was necessary. I just thought I'd try it. Here. But, but you can see they're already germinating really well. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find some some uh, tilapia or some fish, some koi or some, anything, anything at all, just to get the process going. But uh, thank you. Hope you liked the video.